started with 268 players five days ago. We're down to these final six and experienced WPT champs versus five young tough pros. Yes, indeed. And the Andes will be 3,000 blind starting at 12 and 24. The cards have been dealt. Action goes to the former grocery bagger, young Justin Smith. About bagging groceries, but he now plays in the highest stakes games in the world right here at Bellagio, I can tell you that. Going to come in with a raise. He's got the suited connectors, the 9 8 of hearts. Comes in for 65,000, but right behind him. The veteran, the tough New Yorker, is going to make the call with his 9 10, the Swede going out. And now the Brazilian battling it out here. With a straight draw. And Faraz is going to check it. Faraz with the gut shot straight. Eric Seidel with the open ender. And the New Yorker, Eric Seidel, going to pop away. It looks like a $100,000 bet. And the chip leader, Faraz, is going to call it. Six comes off. No help to either player. Mm -hmm. And Faraz wrapping the table. Checks again. Eric behind him checking. Going to the river. Well, the dream card for Eric Seidel. A king comes off. Gives him a king high straight. How nice. Once again, Faraz. First to act. Looks around. Going to check again. Trying to stay out of trouble. But the tough New Yorker, Eric Seidel, is going to put the bet in. 200,000. Where your two nines might be good. And you're saying to yourself, you know, he's either got a straight or a busted flush draw because he's not going to bet with a pair or two pair probably in this situation with that board. He makes a call with two nines. His nickname, the toilet, might look like a stinking call to you, but really there was some logic behind it. As you can see, Faraz Jaka, the 23 year old out of San Jose, California, is our chip leader. In second place, Eric Seidel, 77,000 to go under the gun with the 1080 clubs. Ross Jock has made the call with the 9-8 of hearts. Now the former warrior out of Brazil, also going to fold. So here we go. Here comes the flop. It's and he's going to check it. His opponent's got a pair of nines and the same straight draw. Well, they both check. Justin in great shape here. Well, the six comes off. I say great shape. That's if there's no betting. He used to work in a supermarket as a bagger. He checks again. Now he plays big time poker. He's going to test the waters here and make a little bet here. They have the same straight draw. So as the cars lie, the only way Faraz can win the pot. And he hits a nine oh, for wow. Faraz. The complete joker for Faraz Jaka. The only card that would give him the win if he didn't bet somebody out of the pot. And 275,000 he wants as a payoff. Remember, the guy he's up against, Faraz Jaka, is the chip leader. He's the most aggressive player at the table, but Justin makes the great laydown on the river. Justin Smith with ace jack. And he's going to raise it, 80,000 to go. Orange County kid going out, the toilet. And Faraz finally picks up the seven deuce and goes away. Yep, but Seidel, who has a jack eight. Yeah, the flop comes. Ace, king, eight. As Eric Seidel has checked the kid. So Justin has flopped top pair. Eric Seidel has flopped bottom pair. Grocery store bagger, now big time pro, is going to make his bet 110,000 with the aces. And Eric Seidel just Ooh. not believing him. He's calling him with bottom pair, so. Yeah, going to be stubborn. Let's see what happens from here. Here comes the turn card. Three of clubs comes off. Helps neither player. Eric quickly checks. And we go into the stare down. Well, Justin Leary, that Eric may be trying to trap him, but checks two aces here. And now a king comes off. Well, neither player going to like that card too much, I don't think. Do you want to put in a value bet here, perhaps? Oh. But no, all in, he says. Wow. All in. Got a daring bet right here. Eric's mind, he's either got a king in his hand or he's got absolutely squadoodle. Now, is it worth it to Eric, a great champion? Will he be able to figure out this puzzle? Yes, he does. Well, he's going to lay it down, so. The 21-year-old, Justin Smith, got the 10 8 of hearts, but lets it go. I yep. I like Torelli out as well. And now, Faraz Jaka, raised. also known as the toilet, has a king 10, and he's going to raise. Yeah, bet's 100,000. Seidel with two nines. Sonson with a jack six. Quits right there, so we have two-way action. Going to the flop. 
and it's action between the two chip leaders at this final table. Now, will he bet it? Yes, he does. 135,000. What this. is he doing here? He's raising, Vince. He's going to take a stab at a bluff. So Faraz trying to walk the dog here, as we say, does not re-raise. See if Eric will keep betting at this hand for him. Four hearts comes off on the turn. That no apparent help to anybody. Yeah, great card up for Faraz. And Eric, let's see if he keeps up the shenanigans. Oh, don't do it to yourself. Seven. Oh, 700,000 with just the nines. Well, the reason Eric is betting here not at all. You cannot get away from this hand. 95% sure you're well out in front. Well, again, Faraz is just going to call with the kings and tens. And this causes concern for Eric, as you can see. Go ahead, try to trap and trap. River card coming up. No hell. Perfect card for Faraz. The toilet. Now Farrar is going to make a value bet of 500000 now. That is not a big bet at all, folks, into a pot that's got over $2.4 million in it. Three bracelets for this play. <laughs> <laughs> His gut instinct just off here. Goes to show you even the best of the best can misstep. And let's see if he can lay it down. No. Eric Seidel is going to pay him off. Oh, boy. Faraz Jaka with a clean sweep right there. Justin Smith talking about his sport. Right now, he's down to the short stack with just over a million. And our chip leader is Faraz Jaka with about 6.8 million. Yep, he's got Kojak. He's also got the short stack at this table. He's setting them all out there right now. About a million bucks. Uh, 1.05. He's got the guts to put it in. Alex Torelli behind him. He's going to muck. Good call. And now, the call in the toilet. Faraz Jaka with a quick call, and it's a good one. Here we go with the flop. Well, the flop is 9.95. So far, so good for Faraz. He's out in front with the ace high. Will it be his demise? Here comes Fort oh, He's here. Well, he throws up the touchdown sign. It's not over. He's going to sweat one more card. Well, five from the river to river. He's going to go. Going to raise it, makes it 145,000 to go. Alec out, toilet out. And to Eric Seidel. Now Eric's in the big blind, meaning he's got 60,000 out there. Cost him another 85,000 to make this call. <sighs> got the king nine of spade, and he is going to make the call. So we got two nines up against king nine. Well, it's the oldest player at the table versus the youngest. Here comes the flop. Oh, it's come 853. We could see some fireworks here with the overpair and he bets 225,000 yep, continuation bet the WPT champ contemplating what to do hello he's on the short stack he's going all in Justin quickly gonna call him with the overpair That's good. he's hoping he needs to get lucky four hearts on the turn not to be for Eric on that card well, so far so good for the young and can he dodge a spade or a king on the river? Last card coming up. It's a deuce yeah. of diamonds. So Justin Smith has done it. He has eliminated Eric Seidel from this tournament. With just a 7-4 of hearts. Doesn't matter. He's going to make it 210,000. Christopher out. And the only one to push away would be the Brazilian, but no. He's stubborn with a 10-6 of hearts, going to call. Uh, he's going to gamble the 10-6 of hearts, and it could pay off because he's flopped a flush draw bigger than his opponent. Well, certainly, if you're in your Faraza seat, you're going to bet with a flush draw here and a straight flush draw at that. He doesn't know his opponent's got the 10-6 of hearts. Or I can assure you he wouldn't be betting here. 260,000. And he's been called by Alex. Good pot brewing. Oh, the three of hearts comes off. Look at this. Alex is going to bet. It's a 440. How much time behind about? 1.6, 1. 1.7. I believe Faraz has got to raise it here. So 1.8 on top of that. And I believe he is doomed to lose yeah. this pot. I don't see any saving 1. 9 here. 1.9 behind. Okay. No way he's going to get away from a flush. And no way all the money's not going in the pot. This is a complete catastrophe potential. I'm all in. 
Great call. And he does go all in. Quick call by the Brazilian. And the Brazilian's going to be so happy that he's drawing dead. That is the Brazilian bull cry. <laughs> Nicely done. There you go. Some excitement by the Brazilian. And why not? He came to this final table on the short stock in sixth place. He is now the chip leader after this hand. Woo! Brazilian full cry in full effect right now. I was not expected. <laughs> Looking at a new chip leader at the final table here at Bellagio. His name is Alex Gomez from Brazil. Action goes to the Swede. He's got a pair of fours. I'm all in. Well, he's moving all in with the small pair. Yep. I call. And he's got the call. Yes, he's playing the rush. No doubt about it. Justin out. The guy knows he's on a heater and he's going to gamble here with the ace queen. Everybody else goes out. We've I, got a race situation. Just got to dodge an ace or a queen with two to go for two running diamonds. Here comes the turn card. Now Jack of Clubs on the turn. Still safe. Here comes Fifth Street. Oh, it's a queen. Oh, no! Sonnison out tonight in fifth place. Tough luck on the river for him. Uh, last chip position and now has a two to one chip advantage over the field. Bagger at the supermarket and now a poker pro very tough and he is raised with King 10. Making it 210,000 to go. But behind him Alec Torelli from Orange County, California. Two point, point one behind. Well flop comes Jack 10 three. Great flop for Alec. Compare. And he's the aggressive Justin didn't make a continuation bet here, but now he looks over at Justin. Tough to get away from second player playing heads up against the blind. The ace of spade card's going to like to see because neither one of them have an ace. Yeah, Justin checking again. Scary card from both players. Do right now. Check. He's fearful that Justin had an ace, so he checks it. So here comes the river card. Well, King of Diamonds comes off. This gives Alec Torelli the nuts, as we say, the best hand possible right now. Yeah, Justin quickly checking. Well, Justin has made two pair with this last card. Alec has bet 560000 There's Alec Torelli's mom, Valerie, rooting her son on. And a nice lay down right there for Justin Smith. Well, it really is. Now for Oz. Oh, he's got a hand this time. Pair of King. He's going to raise it. Makes it 250000 to go. I'm all in. But the Brazilian goes all in. Oh, this could be a terrible mistake. King Jack, he has. Oh. Well, you see the wince in. No Broadway. No Broadway. Pop comes A7-5. Let's try to catch a joke or a dot happening. Ace comes off. There's no card. But Alice can catch the win this pot. So for our jacket, is going to double up here. Well, Jack does come on the river, but it's irrelevant. It picks up a nice hand here. And that made it 250,000. Justin out. The young man from Orange County, Alec Torelli, has ace queen. Well, he's going to raise it. He makes it 710,000 to go. Well, it goes away. What's your total? I guess started with 3.8. Well, it's not going to surprise me if they both 1. get the chips 6. in with these 6. hands. I'm all in. Wow, I he's gone all in, and he gets a quick hole. Well, these are two big hands in a four-handed poker game. Wow. Here it comes. Oh, well, the flop comes. Jack eight six with two two hundred cards to make it straight. The king of clubs comes off. Wow, I'm sweating. Oh, clock ticking. Well, Alex really all smiles now. No, the seven of diamonds comes up. The Brazilian takes down the pot and now has a big chip lead with three players left. Yeah. Still love you. I hope you take it down. With the button and King Jack. That's a good hand in a three-handed poker game as well. Let's see what Justin's going to do with it. He's just going to limp in and call here on the button. Something we haven't seen yet out of him. A big hand. And he's going to find out because he is going to raise it. He's going to make it 575,000 to go. Don't forget what Mike Mattis had told you. Don't get crazy. You've got some chips. Come on. Oh, he's getting crazy. Very cool. And so much for Mattis out advice. He's going all in. So again, another race situation. Now flop comes A7-3. Bear the board! Bear the board! So far, so good. Fourth. Well, a queen comes off. This gives Justin four more outs. A 10 would now give him an eight. Can he escape? Oh, it's a 10! 
back to back double ups by Justin Smith, growing out both times, man, to stay alive. And look how excited he is, his fans, his friends. Let's fix that tomorrow. Let's go. Wait a minute. Anything can happen. Well, the irony here, Vince, is that Justin tore both his ACLs on a motorcycle accident, five million in chips. So we've got a real horse race right now, folks. Yes, we do. Cards being dealt. Action. On Faraz Jaka. He's got the button and he's the first one to act. And he's going to stare down at a wired pair of tens. Powerful hand in a three handed poker game. He picks up two tens. Alex Gomez now with King Jack. He's going to re raise. Well, once again, we could see a race situation for all the chips here. But no, Faraz just makes the call here. Started with about five. Does not re raise with the two tens. And right now, Faraz has got a full house. And Faraz. Just going to smooth call. Two overcards, but a 10 comes off. Oh, the danger disappears. Well, Faraz now has 10s full of 7s. Only four 7s will beat him. Or he would call a bet if he makes one. 900. On the other hand, his hand is so strong, he might not want to bet, but he does bet 900,000. And the Brazilian wisely and quickly goes out. In a poker game. Justin Smith going to play through the pain. I don't believe he's got any intention of going home yet, Vince, when there's a million dollars to be planned for here. To play three hands of poker right now. Blinds are so high. Alex has moved it up to 725. There you see Justin's eyes. He's working on his Phil Ivey eyes, that look that Phil Ivey gives. Alex has come back over the top, and I think Justin's going to shove. Come on. Here go. Justin goes all in. He's quickly called. And the Brazilian is going to love it when Justin turns up his hand. Now yeah, flop comes ace, ten, nine, all clubs to win this pot. Well, now a nine comes off. Doesn't happen. The five of clubs comes off. So Alex Gomez once again regains the chip lead at this final table. One time! Pair of kings for Faraz. What a hand he has. Well, Faraz loving this. He's going to raise it. Makes it 255,000 to go. And he is just praying somebody makes a move on him. Now well, the Brazilian going to take a break. And now Justin with a interesting ace four. Can he slow down? No. Nope. He's going to yeah. shove it. Yep. It's all in there. Quickly called by oh, Kings. Justin's got to be saying to himself, Queen. wow, what is going on here? Good luck. For an ace right now or some wheel cars. Doesn't happen. Jack eight six out there. Will he get it? Not there. The nine of spade comes on the turn. We're down to the river. On <laughs> break. No, nope. five of hearts comes off. So that's going to do it for this tough 21 year old out tonight in third place. But, folks, I'll tell you one thing. All right, to the felt we go. Blinds are going up to 80 and 160,000. Right now, Faraz with 11.1 million. Alex Gomez with about 5 million. Alex Gomez, the former lawyer who's turned poker pro, already the most successful poker player in Brazilian history. He's just called. Here's the flop. Hi. Well, he is checked, and Brazilian also going to check. The turn card is an ace of clubs. Inside straight draw for Faraz now. Well, he's going to lead out and bet. But look at this, Vance. With just a six deuce, the Brazilian coming over the top for $1.5 million. And I can tell you, even though the guy's got the best hand with Queen High, you can't stand a raise in that situation. So the bluff. Embarrass me. Yeah. <laughs> Embarrass me. Good to see? He would yeah. love to show this nah, come on. Okay, I'll show this time. He's doing it. He I, I asked for it. Yeah, he asked. Uh, I, I wanted to be it. embarrassed. That is a needle <laughs> in the knee. Close to 1.2 million goes with that as well. And right now, Alex with an ace jack is going to raise 560,000. And there you see Faraz going to make the call with it. So Faraz has flopped a gut shot straight draw. Queen would give him a straight. Faraz quickly checking and... Alex with top pair, ace kicker, beautiful flop for him. And he's bet 735,000 here. Oh, and look at this, Vince. Faraz is going to raise him back. He's come over the top. He got top pair and top kicker in a heads up situation. You move in. I'm moving. That's what he's done. And Faraz quickly moves out. And that's the problem when you raise on those gut shot straight draws. Faraz had 11 million, and Alex was down to 5 million. They've completely flip flop positions now. All in. But he's gone all in. I call. And he's quickly called by the Brazilian. This could be the hand that closes the rat cage. Ace Jack versus A7. Five cards to come. Here's the first three. 
it's going to be over. The toilet looking depressed here. Here's the turn card. He must catch a three across, as we say. An eight or a deuce would do it as well. Gomez one card away from the WPT made millionaire. And he's done it! There it is. The Brazilian has come from last place at this final table to take the first ever World Poker Tour title back. Yes. <laughs> that celebration. <laughs> Brazil, Brazil.